What's up, YouTube? Comic Freak for Life here, and today I'm here to talk about the new uh, format for April 1st until June something, I can't even remember. Uh, so, it is uh, April Fool's Day, April 1st. I am not one of the kind of people that will make a dumb April Fool's video, like Asian Eyes White Dragon. It happens every year, I don't know why people think that everything got reprinted. Uh, no Draco Sack and Exiton are not getting reprinted. Um, so, anyway, it's the new format, just started today, and I wanted to talk about uh, the meta, the new meta of what I think is going to be good, and a little bit of my thought process. Um, so, first, I want to start off talking about what got hit. So, Mermails got their uh, Gund, uh, Gund, I pronounce it Abyss Gund, my friend Aiden pronounces Abyss Gund, it doesn't really matter, we know what you're talking about. Gund is the one that specials, Lind is the one, Gund is the one that's, when it's discarded as specials, Lind is the one that, when it's destroyed and sent to the grave as specials. So, Gund got hit to one. And that uh, supposedly is supposed to slow down their special summoning powers. Um, so it's a lot harder to spam stuff and uh, all that jazz. But I feel that mermails are not going to be gone completely. They're just going to be a little bit not as spammable as they were before. Although it is really easy to search that card. So I should... I would think that it wouldn't be that bad, um, although I don't feel Mermails will be the best deck anymore. Um, and the other decks that got hit, we see uh, Fire Fists, four axis with their Wolf Bark going to one. Um, not lots of once per turn spamming, uh, slowly grinding down your opponents uh, like four axis uh, used to. Um, now people are going to be moving on to three four axis. Um, and t surprisingly, Tanky didn't get touched, so there's still Tanky for all those other decks, like um, Fire Kings, Fire Fists, any other things you might want to run Tanky in, if you want to run it in Windups, if you want to run it in Gladiator Beasts, whatever on Beast Warriors, um, you can still do that. So it hurts uh, the 4 Axis, they will spark to 1, but it doesn't hurt uh, all those other decks that use Tanky. Although I still think Tenki is really dumb at 3. Uh, they brought it back to 3 when it actually was better. They hit it to 2, and then they decide to hit it back to 3 when it makes it worse. Uh, I don't understand the logic behind that, but nonetheless, uh, if you're playing Tenki, Tenki is an amazing card. Um, uh, so we had Fire, Ac Fire, Fire Fist hit with a Wolf Bark. Mermails hit with a Lin, the Gun, I'm sorry, the Gun. And uh, we had Infernities hit with their Barrier. Um, kind of stupid when they go first turn, do their shenanigans, you don't have anything. End up with three Barrier, you are screwed. You cannot do anything unless you have a Counter Trap, and even then they still have two more. So you're kind of like, this is dumb. So I see the reasoning behind that. Um, Heretic Seal getting hit to two, not a big deal. It was at two before. Uh, one less searcher, not a big deal. Um, that's what I can think of off the top of my head for big decks that got hit. Um, so, yeah. Um, now, the decks that did not get hit. We have Bujins. Did not get a single card. Not touched. Not a zippity zappity zoop. Um, Bujins are still the same, just as good as they have been, just as good as they are. They were. Um, no worrying about losing any of their stuff because they are here. Um, so, Bujins, I feel, are going to be one of the top contenders. Uh, they did well at the past two big events at the ARG Las Vegas, which I attended, and at uh, YCS Chicago. Although, technically, it didn't win because uh, the Bujin player, and now they do the top 16 as draft, um, but still, the Bujin player won the tournament. Um, he got to the top 16 with the Bujin deck, so I would consider that a win in his book and for Bujins. Um, so Bujins, top contender, uh, haven't gotten hit especially, which makes them even better. Um, and the other main contender 
that didn't get hit uh, was Girgia Karkuri, or just pure Girgia, uh, as well as the Mythic Tree Dragon deck. There is a couple of different variants of the dragons. You have the Heratic Ruler Dragon deck. You have the Mythic Dragon deck um, that got second place at ARG Vegas. And uh, we have Girgia Karakuri, or just pure Girgia, uh, which has also been doing well. Uh, so you have those three decks, I feel, are going to be the main contenders. The Girgia, the Dragons. Um, I feel like the Mythic Tree will do better because they run Skill Drain. So the Mythic Ruler Skill Drain deck and Bujins are going to be the top three contenders in my book. Um, now, I don't really know what else uh, they could have hit or anything like that. But they still did pretty well, uh, in my opinion. Um, I'm sure they could have hit more, but I feel like it was enough to change the format to where we listen new, see new things. Um, other things to look be looking for is Sylvans. Uh, one of my friends plays that deck and is already looking really good, um, even without their other stuff that's coming out. Um, whatever what I'm hearing, they're going to be really good. They are able to spam stuff really quickly, uh, very well. Um, but that's one thing that I feel the uh, Mythic Tree Dragons with the Skill Drain will help a lot. I just, I'm just i really liking that deck because the Skill Drain literally beats everything in this format. It hurts Bujins, hurts Mermails, hurts Kyrgyz Kar Curry, it hurts Infernities, it hurts uh, every other deck that I can think of except for... TG skill drain because the skill drain. So that is one of my contenders. Now the thing, other thing I wanted to say is that uh, I need to build a deck for YCS Las Vegas and I have about two weeks to play test. Um, so I am trying to decide which deck I want to make uh, for this upcoming format. Um, so I kind of am looking for a little bit of input. If any of you guys want to post in the comments below, I'm uh, in between Bujins and the Mythic Tree Dragon deck. Um, I feel both of those decks are really good. Um, Bujins I like because they're just so strong and they can leave you with one monster on the board with their uh, Kaiser Coliseum and they can really shut you down. And I like the Mythic Dragons because they have so many different plays, and Skill Drain wins this format completely. So, I'm really torn, and both are actually not that expensive. The extra deck is really where it hits for the Mythic Dragons. I looked at the main deck, and pretty much everything I have, uh, or is relatively cheap, maybe $50 for everything besides the extra deck. And for the Bujins, the Yamatos are about 35 between 30 and 40, I'm going to make that wide range. Uh, but that deck is also by the three Amatos for, say, 100. And then you have maybe Mikazuchis for 10 each. Um, some other stuff. Uh, so not too much. Um, so both of those decks, I need help. Uh, if you guys want to post in the comments section below which one you think I should play, um, that would be great be helpful. And if you have any reasons for why, or maybe if you think another deck is better, uh, any comments is welcome. Uh, so, yeah, uh, one of those decks I'm most likely going to be making for uh, YCS Vegas and the rest of the format. So, please leave a comment. What do you think about this new format? What do you think about the ban list? Um, all questions and comments are welcome. And uh, that's it. Thanks a lot. Uh, this is Comfort for Life. Keep it real. Signing out.